Sometimes the smallest fashion trends make the biggest impact and today I'm focusing on 10 fall fashion trends that are tiny but mighty. Hi, I'm Leonie and welcome to my channel. Now, as I just mentioned, today I'm talking about fashion trends that are you could say mini trends, but they are mighty in terms of the impact that they can make on an outfit. So if you would like to see what those trends are, then just keep watching. Now, first up and probably the most exciting mini trend that I have seen gaining momentum and is definitely going to have an impact this fall, and that is snakeskin. Now, I am a little up and down when it comes to animal print. I often worry that it can kind of age you if you're over 50. But in saying that, I do see animal prints as a neutral and I especially love snakeskin. I think I like the, the fine detail in a snakeskin print. So expect to see snakeskin coats, jackets, scarves, accessories, shoes, you name it. There are going to be accents of snakeskin heading our way this fall. And as I said, it is a neutral and a really easy option to add the finishing touches to an outfit. You know, sometimes when you just can't find the perfect pair of shoes to go with an outfit or the perfect handbag, then snakeskin is definitely going to be a really good option. Now I'm really liking the idea of this next one and that is skinny scarves. And let me know, did you used to wear skinny scarves, skinny scarves, it's a bit of a tongue twister, skinny scarves back in the day? I know I certainly did. And I am here for it for a couple of reasons. Obviously because it creates a little bit of warmth and Sometimes in fall, you don't quite need a big chunky scarf, but a skinny scarf is just gonna give you that little bit of warmth. For me personally, my neck is not what it used to be. So anything that can kind of cover that area, but yet sort of show off my neck is a winner for me. So I will be wearing this look. I'll be adding skinny scarves because they're also an easy way just to add a pop of color or a little bit of interest to one of the biggest trends that's happening for fall and that is button down shirts. Just your classic tailored shirts are huge and so a little skinny scarf added to a classic button down is just an easy way to add a little bit of interest to an outfit. Now there's lots of pretty flats that are happening for fall and I would say that a pretty flat is definitely a big trend, but a mini trend off the back of that is mesh flats. Now I know this isn't going to be a trend that is for everyone, but I do like it. I think it's perfect for fall, especially anything that's actually a little bit sort of trans-seasonal, which a mesh flat is definitely that. It's giving you a little bit more coverage than a strappy sandal, but it's not quite a ballerina flat. It's just adding a little bit of interest and even perhaps more importantly, a little bit of texture to an outfit. So definitely keep an eye out for these super cute little mesh flats. Now another almost unspoken mini trend is phone cases. And I am today delighted to be working with my friends at Casetify once again, who are offering you a fabulous 15 percent discount off anything on their website. Now if you've been following me here for a while you'll know that Casetify offers some amazing options when it comes to personalizing your phone cases. They also have some amazing phone accessories and everything you need to create a very cool accessory out of your humble phone. I've just picked up this super cute retro phone camera case. Retro camera phone case that's how you say it. <laughs> I love this retro camera case. I've kind of wanted one of these for years and just haven't for some reason ordered one. So I thought now is a good time. So this is an impact case. But as you can see here, it's super slim line. I've just attached it to my case to phone strap, which means that I can pop it over my shoulder and I'm good to go. Also, the great thing about these impact cases is that they're obviously super strong, but you can still use them to wireless charge your phone. So if you just have one of those little wireless chargers, you can put the phone on it and it will charge without the need for taking off your case, which is also super handy. They're also partially made from upcycled phone cases or recycled phone cases that are given it another life. I've also picked up another couple of cases because I can't help myself whenever I put in an order, but I picked up another personalized case and you can do all of this personalization yourself on the Casetify website. 
The hardest part for me is always trying to choose colors and trying to choose exactly what I'm gonna do because the options are endless. So trust me, I'm sure you're gonna to struggle too. And I also just picked up a very simple case. But if you would like to save 15% off anything on the Casetify website, then definitely go over and take a little look. All you need to do is either click the link in my description box below or whip on over to casetify.com forward slash the style inside and that will qualify you for the discount. So as I said, these guys are such an easy way to add a little bit of an interest to an outfit and in my opinion, they are a super affordable accessory update. I've been on the fence about fringing, but fringing is definitely coming back for fall. Not in a major way, but in a mini way, or probably a little bit more than mini, but it's definitely a happening look. Now, I'm particularly excited about this. I'm actually planning on doing a DIY with a thrifted men's blazer, and I'm going to a wedding, and I'm completely trying to create a dupe of this designer jacket that Karen Britchick wore, and and wore so well. I need something that's just going to have a little bit of a wow factor and create a, a little bit of something special for the wedding. So let me know what you think. Now this next one is a trend that I am definitely here for and that is bandeau tops. Now last season it was all about the corset top and I love the fact that a bandeau, this sort of stretchy fabric, makes it one, a little bit more comfy, but two, just a little bit more relaxed. But in saying that, it adds a touch of femininity and a little bit of an elevated look and feel to an outfit, especially if you're wearing it teamed with say an oversized blazer, which in my opinion is a look that is super cool. Or even if you're wearing double denim, wearing a simple bandeau top underneath a denim jacket is also a good look. So this is a mini trend that I think makes um, an easy upgrade to a simple t-shirt, just as I said, elevates your look. So have a look for some of these super cute bandos and there are some that I've seen in sort of stretchy metallic fabrics and a punch of color. There are some options out there that I think are a really good addition to your wardrobe. Now I always like to talk about jeans and what jeans are trending and what seems to be happening. There are kind of two little breakaway trends that I have noticed and one is a barrel leg jean and the other is more of a straight leg cropped jean. So a sort of a three quarter jean. Now the reason I'm particularly loving these three quarter jeans is because they look super cute with the massive footwear trend for pretty flats and pretty flat slingback shoes. Just breaking that up with a little bit of a peak of ankle really helps to make that outfit sing in my opinion. So these super kind of neutral jeans, if you will, they are straight legged, they're not too baggy, they're not too detailed, they're a simple classic cut with that three quarter length, so that little bit of peak of ankle, which again is perfect for transseasonal dressing. Now the other style, the barrel leg, in my opinion, are just fun. They, I heard someone recently say, it looks like you've just hopped off a horse wearing these jeans, maybe it does. But in my opinion, it's just an interesting take from the really baggy cargo style jeans that we have seen lately. So these two kind of mini denim trends are definitely worth keeping an eye on. Now, one of the biggest trends for the season is metallics. And I have talked about metallics in recent videos, but metallic purses and clutches and handbags are definitely having a moment. And that's why I've included them in today's episode because a metallic handbag is not only timeless, but it's also going to be the perfect addition to an outfit where you may be struggling to find the perfect purse to team with it. And you know, sometimes a black handbag or a black clutch can just be a little bit too heavy. Well, a metallic is always a really good way just to add a little bit of interest and create a statement with an outfit, but it doesn't compete with anything. So take a look at some of these super cute little clutches and bags in all different shades of metallic. There's silver, there's gold, there's brassy type, type colors as well, but these metallic purses are definitely worth taking a closer look at as well. Now I first noticed the addition of stud detailing on some super cute little slingback 
pretty flats and I've kind of seen more and more studs as I've been searching the internet and looking at some of the fall fashion trends and I really love the sort of hard edge that stud detailing brings to an accessory so what I have seen are studded belts as I said studded shoes studded handbags and purses so it's really just an easy way to add a little bit of toughness to a potentially otherwise feminine outfit. So keep an eye out for these studded accessories that kind of give you that little bit of grunty kind of motorbike style to an outfit but with, without taking it too far. And I really didn't think that I would be talking about this trend again this fall but tailored vests are still here. They were huge last season and I kind of can't believe that they are still here but if you bought into the trend last season then they are still going to be trickling through and still very much a wearable look for this season. Now of course in fall or certainly as you're transitioning into the cooler months you can wear these tailored vests on their own and then use them as a layering piece for wearing maybe a polo neck underneath or a simple sheer long sleeve layer layering piece but these tailored vests are very much a happening thing and I'm sure that is because tailored trousers are still very much a look oversized baggy tailored trousers and of course the perfect piece to team with them is a tailored vest so if you were late to the party and didn't jump on the trend last season then it's not too late. Now one of the big trends for fall this year is statement sunglasses and statement kind of oversized eyewear has been happening for quite a few seasons now but there's a mini trend which I'm really loving and that is smaller oval shaped sunglasses. I actually recently bought myself a white pair. I felt like I needed a little sort of a freshen up when it came to my sunglasses and white was great for me because I have a couple of white crossbody handbags and kind of liked the idea of teen or pairing my handbag to my sunglasses. Now this slightly smaller oval style is going to flatter most face shapes as well so they are a pretty practical update to your eyewear collection. Now you've got a good handle on the mini trends then why not check out the most wearable fashion trends heading our way this fall. All you need to do is click or tap on the screen here and I will see you there.